So today I'm going to be giving you my bedroom tour. How should I say it? My bedroom university tour. Um, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing today. Um, I'm still wearing the same clothes that I was wearing in my um, intro to YouTube video because I was like, you know what? I could actually video this today. So here we are. That's what we're doing. Boom. So yeah, let's get started. So as soon as you walk in, you got me, my feet, sliders out. So as soon as you come through the front door, like the door's right here, and I'm right here, um, you have my hooks, you have my little small hallway, and then you've got my poster at the end, you'll see that in a second. And then to the left, you have my bathroom. My bathroom's quite nice, it's a decent space. Give me L. I need to stop doing that for one. But anyway, my bathroom, my sink, uh, my stuff, my extra stuff, my bathroom spray, my soap, body wash, toothbrush, facial scrub. I used the tea tree one from the pound shop and I used the St. Ives blemish control apricot sub. This thing smells divine. Um, I got this in the little gift bag and I want to try it out my mum got me these two mandarin spa things um yeah so you got my mirror then you got the toilet and then these are just um cleaning supplies and for when I wash uh, my clothes I have this mat on the floor here I was trying to go for like a bluish sort of oceany like vibe in my my bathroom but like it's hard to put it all together but you know we're not there yet this is an unfinished room tour so you know I'm halfway there but I still felt like I could show you guys some stuff so that's just my hand towel this is my shower that's my Nuxemia my favorite 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 facial wash like honestly that shit will be having your skin clear but I will have a uh a, what's it called uh, my what's it called why am I lost for words like my skin routine that's it my skin routine so then you come out of the bathroom close the door and then you have my wardrobe um, it's pretty packed right now like it's very very packed stuff all the way up there i can't reach up there that's why those stuff are like kind of scrunched because i cannot reach up there i'm gonna get a footstool or something i just put them up there because i needed to store some stuff i have some stuff hanged up i got some clothes clothes trainers at the bottom on my hook i have my dressing gown my coat that i wear regularly some bags i wear regularly my towel um might some more jackets then you have my mirror my full body mirror then you have my little side desk it was actually meant to be here but um my room was cold when i first got here so they gave me an electric radiator so that's gone there instead because there's no as you can see there's no like sockets all the way here otherwise i would have just had it on the bottom there and the main radio is here and there's no plug socket so it had no other choice but to go by my bed so this had to come over here so in here i have cotton buds i have cream i've got my deodorant i have some soap bars i have cotton pads i have all these little hand creams 
because I just love hand creams. I have extra toothpaste. I have my shea butter cream that I use every day. Get you some of that raw shea butter, it's the best. Some perfume, mascara, um, my, what are these things even called? Do you know them bands you used to exercise with? The resistance bands, I think that's what it's called. My spray bottle for my hair. And these are just the bags that I use day to day. So they go right under my mirror so I can just pick them up. And I had a lecture today, that's why this one's got a folder in it. So then you have my bed. So my bed's here, I know, my teddy, I love my teddy. Um, I have a nice pillow there, my bed, um, my blanket, my throw. So up here, I have my trainers and stuff. They stay up there. I have all of my pictures and things. That's my digestives <laughs> when I get snackish in the night. Um, that's a card that my mum gave me when I left, when I first moved in here. Uh, those are like my wigs up there, extra um, linen. Then I have my iron up there, my tripod for my phone, my bubble, my bubble the fluffer thing machine is up there too. Um, then we have my little cubicle for like bits and bobs that I use regularly that I can't put away, but they need to be away, if that makes sense. Just not in my face. I have little concealers, um, not concealers, conditioners that I got um, in a little gift box. I have some creams. I have extra virgin oil for my hair, not to eat with my hair. Um, and then I have my apple cider vinegar right at the back there, the Bragg's organic one. Um, yeah, and then I just have some spare cups just in case. Um, in this box, I have all makeup. The whole thing is makeup. In this box is all hair stuff. I have some extra kitchen towel. Down underneath my desk, I have um, water. I have my money box. I have spare bags when I'm doing shopping. So right here, we have my makeup, my makeup section, which I use to like... I just sit here and do my makeup. I've got my desk chair right here. I put this here because it's like comfortable, makes my back soft and stuff. Um, right here, this is my view. Literally my window's here, this is my view. I have a lake view, isn't that just beautiful? Like, I love waking up to this, it's just lovely. Like, cause in London, you just wake up to more like city life and more blocks and more high, high rise buildings and things like that you don't really get much views unless you're very very high and that would be the view of london but here it's like greenery wherever you look which i love i have my speaker there i have all of my um electronic wires um just in case anything breaks or anything is needed um i'm gonna have my day-to-day -day makeup uh routine filmed as well i'm gonna definitely make sure i do that that's just my drink i'm drinking my laptop and my printer my printer goes with my room but i didn't even plan it to go with my room like i originally had this printer then we have my drawers i have clothes in all of these drawers because i just ran out of space in my wardrobe and i couldn't reach any higher to the top shelf then here I have, I have a whole bunch of junk, but it's organized junk. Uh, this is my extra stuff, so extra deodorant, extra stuff. I've got my hot water bottle in case I get sick. I have medicine in case I get sick. I've got my alibis oil, um, phone cases when I change them. I've got my camera in here. I have bin liners for my mini bin in my room and my home home house keys um these are this is my room key for my uh, my little flat here in my uni um what's in this drawer uh, in this drawer is my stationary stuff um that i have i'm going to be using while i'm at uni in my other stuff i've got important documents that i can't show and then the last one's free these are just the trains that i use most regularly my rebox and these black trainers i don't remember where i got them from then i have my um my wig stand for when i make wigs or when i want to style my wigs 
that's just there. Then I have my laundry basket right here. Um, I got this from Primark. I got the rug from Ikea. Um, I got the wig stand from Amazon. I got the wig head from eBay. Um, where else am I forgetting? I got the mirror from Primark. Um, the speaker was a present. Uh, yeah. And then next we have my little devotion wall. Um, a nice little painting that gives me inspiration every day. It says lovely things like dream, love, one love, live, alive. Like all of these beautiful things. It's just a lovely painting. And then I have all of the pictures of the people that I love and care about and things like that. And the people that I miss so dearly, you know. Not everyone's actually up there, but you kind of get the gist. Um, yeah, so this was my room tour. This is a room tour for anyone that's considering coming to Bath Spa University and wanting to stay at Twerton Mill. Um, if you stay in a flat, this is the type of room that you're looking to expect. Like, this is exactly the same layout that you'll get. I've been around the entire accommodation and all the rooms are the same. Um, unless you've uh purchase the rooms that have everything inside it so the kitchen bathroom and everything is all to you you don't share it with no one um but if you are sharing an accommodation this is the room that you are gonna get um yeah this is the room you're gonna get so that's my room yeah yeah so guys that was my unfinished room tour um yeah i hope you enjoy it enjoyed it I hope you like, comment, subscribe, do all of that stuff, you know, you know.